and I got them in Paris. Let's see. And so they would keep the poison in the rings. This is what my son bought me, sequin Jimmy boots. So Rock and Tell is like Show and Tell, um, where we look at some of your rock memorabilia that you've maybe collected over the years from lanyards, vintage t-shirts, a guitar, um, artwork, photographs. Um, I was hoping you could show us uh, two or three items. I've got maybe even a little more. Let's start with this real quick. It's Kind Heaven Orchestra box set. And it's called the Glitz, the Glamour. It was created with um, a friend of ours. His name is Zoltar. His, <clears throat> he's a, a British fine artist whose, great, whose grandfather happened to be the prime minister of England in the late, in the early 60s. But his name is Zoltar. He's this wild man who he lives with a whole group of artists similar to the way we lived uh, in the early days of Jane's Addiction. We lived in this kind of rock and roll house, if you will, on, on Wilton in Los Angeles. And he just sits there all day and creates art. Check this out. Look how beautiful this, this packaging is. It is pretty. Is. And then check this out. Then every... Look at how beautiful those records are. Those are real are nice. Beautiful? That's real nice. Yeah, this is a good collection. So there's nine albums in there. Is each one yeah, hot pink or is each one a different color? Different color, yeah. right? Hot, hot um, 180 grams, which is like a heavy, beautiful yeah. record. It's the beautiful, perfect weight for it. And there's a Blu-ray in there that's got the kind of an orchestra in surround sound, Atmos surround sound. So if you have a Blu-ray player in your home, mm -hmm. you can hear us in the round. Pretty oh, cool, beautiful, right? Beautiful. Now I'm gonna go to another record. It's this record. It's very <gasps> oh, special wonderful. to me. It's the Velvet Underground Loaded. And for Father's Day, this is what my son bought me. And I love this record. I loved it when I first heard it, but we share a song. It's Oh Sweet Nothing by um, Velvet Underground, Lou Reed and the Velvet Underground. Oh, sweet nothing, ain't got nothing at all. Isn't it cool? It so is cool. cool. It is cool. And it's just cool that they picked that out for you. Yeah. All right. I know you said a lot. You have a lot of items. Give me another item. Show it off. Okay. So there's this amazing pair of um, opera opera glasses and I got them in Paris let's see oh so they regal cool? there's this antique store that Etsy and I like to go to whenever we're in Paris and um, we did it after the first Lollapalooza in Paris we went there and I found this item in the antique store. Then there's this ring that Etsy got for me. And this is an interesting story. So it's turquoise and I love turquoise. I love turquoise jewelry. Ooh. Got it, okay. So inside the opera glass, I mean, inside the ring is Buddha. Yes. See that Buddha? So Etsy, She's a, a bit of a history buff. So she told me that <clears throat> the ring is from the 17th century, um, the, Bo B Borgias. the Borgias, yeah. where, where people would poison each other. And so they would keep the poison in the rings. But <laughs> this person obviously was a Buddhist, wanted to make something better of a poison ring. So they turned it into Buddha. Isn't that beautiful? Good, good, good. So I, I always have it. Buddha by my side. That's yeah. Um, and then I have one more special thing. Please. These are, these are song. This is a song that's yet to be sung. Song yet to be sung. These are, you know how Dorothy had her ruby slippers? Sure. Perry has got his sequin Jimmy boots. 
I haven't worn them yet, but I'm going to wear them the next tour. They're bought for the next Ooh. tour. And look. Coming to a festival near you. Yeah. All right, well, I, I hate to ask, is there anything in arm's reach that um, is James related or is that all in, um, in storage? So this is an original. <clears throat> we were working with um, Bob Ezrin, the great Bob Ezrin who produced the, the, uh, the wall. And he suggested that I get with the, the album conceptualist and do the album cover. So this is his concepts for the, the album that became Strays, but we never used it. We never used this concept. <laughs> but now that uh, James is kind of back in swing, you, know, you never know when we might work together again. I mean, when you talk about James, you sound very hopeful. Like there, th I feel like there, there is a future. I think there is more. I would like it to be, sure. Why, why would I like sit, sit on earth alive and not want to see what could be with that project? Yeah. Couldn't Are do the guys that. still a good team? You know, um, when you get to a certain age, you start seeing your life from a perspective because you had a chance to kind of move far enough back that you can get a far-sighted view of it. Then it kind of starts to change your, um, personality you know you maybe not so harsh on something that you were previously like oh i can't deal with this then maybe you see well maybe there is a way i could deal with this well perry farrell it's been so lovely talking to you um Thank nice you. to meet your acquaintance um stay safe yes. and have a great nice summer summer festival tour thank you i hope i run across you when we're out there i hope so too Hey there, thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is or who your favorite bands are and what artists you're into, or just say hi, man. I like to be told hi. We love hearing from you. That's the point, all right? Keep it coming.